Holst, Frank the Tank, and today we're going to bring a new item in. You got to check it out, see what I'm talking about, take a look at it. It's a great LED light setup for those places that are somewhere where there's no electrical or you have a sunroom that you're not allowed to have electricity running electricity. You can actually have these LED lights are solar power and see how well it works. They come with remote control. We're gonna open it up and see what you guys think about it. So if you guys like stuff like this, let me know and hit the subscribe button and we're gonna put it up to the test and we're gonna set it up today. So if you have any questions in comment, hit them down below. So let's go ahead and open it up. These guys were very generous. Um, I bought their last uh, solar panel, great system still runs the floodlights i have are great i love them they're one of my favorite ones but when they came out with this i was sold already on top you know because i needed some lights for internal more lights for my little sun area some room area where i have some shade in there but there's no running electricity so we're gonna set these up and put the solar panels up and running and of course similar controls to the other ones um they have the dimmers you know they have different channels and of course power on power off and we're going to take a look at it too so uh i i once i turn them on i leave them on pretty much on night they stay on night and so far they last till the morning especially with the sun um, reflecting to the solar panels great item to do uh, to have you know so we're going to open it up here and see what you get and first of all they give you the large solar panel right up front right here it's on the side of it um this one is a little easy to set up if you have any problems with it uh, I'm going to do a little review on it and pretty much I just stand it up one direction where the sun hits and just let it go. Similar to my floodlights. Um, I have some floodlights with the same similar um, solar panel and they've been working great, man. Waterproof, weatherproof, it's sunproof, which is great. Um, these are caliber for um, outdoor graded cables. So great stuff. They cover up in here. So for water retention, so the more, no water can come in actually. So um pretty good pretty good combating the other elements so especially if you if in the in the sunny areas you're gonna need something like this um of course you get the lights here we're gonna open them up you get one light and then you get two zip ties because it's gonna be a long cable you want to make sure you tie it down here's the second one we're gonna put it on the side here and they give you information card information how to purchase more stuff and how they work and instructionable and how the control is supposed to be working for you guys and where to reflect and how to clean it up how to maintenance because once you set these up you can set them up on a tree you can set them anywhere else but once in a while you have to go there and clean the actual solar panel so it could retain more more energy for the actual battery so that's the thing the brighter you want this uh, things to run the more power you need to collect so raise it from the sun is what you really require you need to clean the glass move on to the next thing so let's go ahead and get everything out they give you the screws everything that you need the mount screws uh they even give you um drywall um screws in here so not bad we're gonna put this to the side and let's go ahead and open it up and see what you get and we're gonna measure it some of the stuff so i do have a measuring tape so you guys get a better idea uh of the angles of this so we're gonna take this first and first of all this one across let's go from here to here is about 11 and a half inches all right 11 and a half inches by by seven and a half 11 and a half by seven and a half great 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 um uh, size for it uh long cable of course you're going to require this to take it into your lighting in fact so we're going to put this on the side there's a, a converter here battery built in and all that stuff everything's ready to go and they give you the two connections for the two led lights so i'm going to put this on the side and we're going to bring one of the led lights Here's one of the LED lights, and these are LED lights are very rugged. They're made for outdoor, of course. Um, this right here is plastic, of course. It's covering and securing the actual LED lights. So if you're gonna have it outdoors, um, it's waterproof, like I said. Uh, it's it's ready for anywhere. You can put these anywhere as long as you have the solar panels pointing to the right direction. These could be anywhere in the farm, anywhere in the back doors, anywhere in your sunroom. Uh, great item. So right now, across from metal metal, it's about six inches. All right, so not that bad. Six inches. They give you a short connection in here, and let's go ahead and plug one in. The way they have it set up is that they have this um, uh, thread right here that you actually, when you plug it in, they connect, and you just slide it in there. And of course, this um, it, it knows when it's dark. It has a sensor for night and day, um, of course. 
And we're gonna try to see if we can block it and get it up and running, but this is the actual LED light in here. It's plugged in. And of course, it's the, the solar is in, it's right here and there's battery already included. All right, currently I have lights in here. A uh, little dull in the night. Uh, I don't turn these on, mostly only for parties. And these are my old LED lights that they're outdated. So we're gonna put the new ones right here in between here and here. And this shel shelter I have, I made uh, a while back. I know I need some painting, need some restructuring, but I'm gonna put them in here and see how it looks. Just to let you know, the sun's hitting in this direction here. Uh, I do have my pool here, but it's covered today. And I do have these existing flooded lights, but we're gonna get the solar panel right there. And I just marked them right there, if you guys can see them. They're marked so we can start the process of installing this. All right, so we, we got it facing where the sun's hitting. Um, pretty much the sun's gonna be hitting half of the day, getting some charge, if you guys can see it here. Uh, so, you guys can see it, I want it to hang there. I'm gonna put some staples there, but we have excessive um, extra cable. We're gonna tie it down, try to circle it around some area. I might twist it a couple of times here so it could get stable enough. Um, shorten the cable, we're gonna shorten this cable a little bit shorter and see how it goes. So let's go ahead and put it together. All right, my recommendation is get one of these tools to staple. It's a staple gun, but it's made for cables, all right? If this is a great item. See how I did this staple? You guys can see it right there. Um, great for instead of zip ties, you tie them up with a, a staple. So it's not bad. Let's go ahead and take a look how it works. You grab it here. In between, in between, there's a little gap in here, if you guys can see it. In between and a staple good good enough stays in there plastic holds everything down and we're done with that one all right we're gonna hang this one in here and I tangled the whole thing up so I have extra slack all we have to do is plug this one in here and screw it in so we'll plug it in and it in there screw it in keep it however you want so right now we're gonna keep it like this uh, we have plenty of slack. We can move it anywhere we want. Not that bad. Let's go for the next one. All right, we got them both up. Um, that one's dangling a little bit, but that's fine. Um, they're not reachable. They're not gonna hit your head. I'm gonna turn them on and see how well they look at night. I'm not gonna turn these on at all. I'm gonna just keep these two on all night. I wanna go, I wanna know what's in the background and maybe my cameras work with them even better. So I'm gonna keep them on. So right now, as you can see, they're not bright because um, they haven't been charged fully, but let me see if I can bring them brighter. So a couple of things you can do on a remote, all right? I'm gonna change the color to yellow. It kind of like a yellowish, and then they turn kind of white. There's two tones of colors that you can do, which I like, you know, it's pretty good. So two colors that you can do with the remote. Like I said, the yellow, if you guys notice a little bit of yellow, and then the white one. And then we can turn it up. And we could turn it down. So let's turn it a little bit higher. And that's the brightest it goes. But it's lighting up out here. It's not that bad. Um, I wish it was a little brighter right now. And um, but you know, there's two lights. But if you add a couple more, you might make this work. To stay up all night. You know, right now, if you can see it's completely darkness out here. I do have my floodlights over there from the same company that makes great floodlights. Now I got these lights in here. And of course, I got a remote right in front of me. And I'm gonna see if I can stand in the light so you guys can see the remote, how they work. On the remote, if you guys see on my floodlights, and you see the two lights on the, on the back, I could turn them off if, from here by holding the button. And I don't even have to be near the center. It could just automatically turn them on in here. And I could change the colors to the yellow version of it, if you guys see it, and the white version of it. And then they have different channels in here that you could set up pretty good so if you guys have any questions or any comments let me know i'm your host frank the tank and we're out